also. And it's about a dollar a pound. Good morning, welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. We're gonna tear apart an air conditioner today, scrap it out, and we're gonna start right now. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna try to get out is in this air handler, there's the plenum or the, um, yeah, whatever this thing is, has that, Aluminum copper radiator in there. This is all copper. So, yeah. holding it in there. I think I'll have to take this out too. When I doubt, take it all apart, I guess. Is that what's holding it in? Yep, okay, good. Something was. That's just gonna be shred pile, scrap steel. Let's put that in my truck right now. Side. Same thing. And there's a couple other screws here. take these guys off and then I'll have the radiators I'll set this aside till I get the other ones ready You give me a hard time. <laughs> Maybe that's why, because I was tightening it. <laughs> My thumb hit it. 
wasn't paying attention. Sometimes, you gotta watch out. Spaghetti mess here. <laughs> this iron has rusted so much. Put this in my truck. It's time for the sawzall. That's right. Many videos ago, I was using the sawzall to cut up a safe that I had found, and I'd actually dropped the safe onto the cord. I had to replace the cord end, um, but I saw this big spark, and I thought it was the metal case hitting the concrete that just caused a spark randomly. No, he was chopping my cord, and it was the short circuit <laughs> that caused a big spark. Now, some of these things are pretty nasty. <sighs> No, they are definitely. It's about a dollar a pound right here. Should I rinse that off? I don't know. Not quite sure how the scrap yards will look at that. But this guy's good to go. Now I've seen some videos where people will cut off the noodles first. These are number two um, copper. And then they'll go on this side and they'll cut these ends off. So I'm just going to put this into my vise and just pull these noodles off with a, some pliers. Yeah. All right, so this is the second one.
a bunch more to to process it. I can cut the number one copper off. Like this piece from here to here is number one, from here to here. So and this guy. Yeah. Alright, let's go for number three. I just took the saws all I cut the two ends off because was they're stuck together from the a-frame a plenum thing whatever it is This end off from here to here to make it number one. Oh, there's a brass piece on that. stereo from yesterday. Still haven't plugged in yet. Can plug it in right now, I guess. Stay focused, Paul. Stay focused. Copper. This air conditioner, which used to be right there. <laughs> How am I gonna handle this guy? I got a motor, got that sealed unit down there. I guess, take some screws out. <laughs> Go old school with it. If I can. Is it just going to fall out? Clunk. Anything else there? Holding it in. Is 
there another? Oh, it goes all the way around, doesn't it? Okay. So I'm going to have to set it on its side. There they is. I love the magnets on the end of these. <laughs> they work really nice. Before I was using the extension pretty much as the uh, as the actual tool. It's not a good thing. Hey, is there other screws holding it in? those guys, huh? A lot of fasteners, a lot of fasteners, okay, maybe. Hey, look at those beehives, or, or actually those are probably wasps. Yuck. That's a bunch of yuck. Okay, what do we have here? Fan? Whatever that thing is sealed unit. Big old capacitor. And then the money maker. Right here. Yeah, those are definitely wasps. Yep. Alright, so this guy. See three screws, but with all the spiders. the impact <laughs> definitely now this guy how is it attached right here <laughs> did that again Looks like there's some more fasteners on the other side. So I'm gonna take this, get it into my truck. All right, this guy's giving me a hassle. I can't figure out what's holding this thing onto this plate. So I think it's this being attached to this and this being attached onto some ridge. But I can't get to that screw here. But check this out. I found this in a dumpster. Yeah, so I think it's gonna work out. I haven't tried it yet though. Is that it? Nope. Get me out. Where's that screw? So it's like down there in the very corner. But I can't quite see. That's it. Bam. Good stuff. I think it's going to come out now. Yay. Oh, there's another one. I think. Hmm. 
Now it goes without saying there's no coolant, there's no Freon in this right now. No CFC chlorofluorocarbons. You can tell because it's all disconnected here. So if you don't know how to do it, I wouldn't recommend taking the Freon out yourself. Okay, so the guy popped out. And that is another significant radiator. Okay, let's get those ends cut off and go hit the scrapyard. <laughs> Maybe this will work better. Uh, yeah, definitely. Total mess of it. Wait a minute. Let's try this. much better. Okay. Got another radiator. Now, several videos ago, I took an air conditioner and the air handler, the, the, the uh, furnace section. I took them both in. I got 11 bucks for them with no work whatsoever. So I just want to see the difference between taking the radiator uh, and turning it into clean radiators, you know, the aluminum copper radiator, the RADs, they call it, um, and separating that and then turning the stuff in. So could I take the motor out, take the copper out? Um, if you're into micro scrapping, that's fine. Um, that's not my thing. I don't even really enjoy processing, but this is what it's processing. So I'm going to turn this in right now um, just with this processing, I'm not going to take the wire out. I'm going to take all this and just go straight in. Um, but really what I want to take off were these uh, copper aluminum radiators. Now, these sealed units, you can turn them in by themselves, or you can just turn them in as, as a shreddable steel. Um, but I'm going to take the copper pieces off, these guys, um, and then just yeah, turn it in as shred. Yeah, those things, I think they're five cents a pound, and then my shred is five cents a pound. So, all right, so I got everything loaded back up into the truck, so this will all be shred. And then I have my one, two, three, four, five radiators that I'm going to weigh up. And the reason why I wanted to do this was because I just did basically an air handler, the furnace, and the AC unit, and I got $11 for putting no work into it and I spent about an hour from start to having the truck loaded up um, I spent one hour and we'll see what that one hour how much above that eleven dollars we're gonna get so we'll see what an hour's worth of work does now I still have those noodles and other pieces of copper uh, from that air conditioner but I'm just gonna leave that for another time I just want to get a basic difference between what just dumping an entire air conditioner and air handler and furnace into the shred pile versus uh, taking the aluminum copper radiators off. 
Now, after I turn in the copper aluminum radiators, I'm gonna go over to the shred pile over here, but I'm going to the recycling center first. That's where I drop off anything that's not steel, basically. of aluminum copper radiators. Hello, nemesis. How art thou? Let's go get weighed up. And I see 3960. Let's weigh out. Let me see. I see 3,700. Yeah. So what is your guess? Before I actually go in and, uh, and cash out, what is your guess? The difference between doing an air handler and an AC unit without uh, doing any disassembly, without any processing. And I got $11. How much difference between this is going to be? So pause the video and then put your guess down in the comments. Hi. There. Hi. How are you? What is happening? Well, you know. I got a ticket for you, too. Oh, no money. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. Hey, what's going on? air conditioner apart. I normally don't do that. Well, it paid off for you. Is that my signature cue? Yes, please. So last time I I, I returned an air conditioner. Mm -hmm. I got eleven dollars. Okay. This time I tore it apart, and we'll see what the difference is. She's on there. She's there now. And forty-three dollars and fifty cents. Yes, sir. Wow, that's a lot different than eleven dollars. It sure is. Okay. Worth it to take it apart. Yeah. Forty-three. And fifty. <laughs> All right, folks, you saw it. $43.50. Yeah. So it's 32 pounds of the aluminum copper radiators. So uh, so for an extra hour's worth of work, um, I got, you know, significantly more, you know, from whatever 11. If you subtract 11, that's $32. So $32 for that hour's worth of work. I'm not sure if I would want to do that all day long. Uh, it, yes, it would be very good money. Um, but yeah, that was, um, it worked out. So thanks God. Thank you for safety. Thank you for, uh, allowing me to, to clean up my yard and get that AC and furnace out of there. It was a bit stressful just seeing that there all the time. And, uh, God, I'm just going to pray for the viewers, um, who just come into their lives and just show them it's you, God, in the name of Jesus. Amen.